Good evening and welcome to News Tonight on Rajya Sabha TV. I am Tina Jha. Before we go over to the headlines, Rajya Sabha TV appeals to all its viewers to continue to maintain COVID-appropriate behaviour and stay safe from the COVID-19 pandemic. Wear face masks, wash your hands and face regularly and also maintain physical distancing while stepping outside. Remember, these simple precautions are all that it takes that will help us defeat the pandemic. And now let's get you the top stories of the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chairs all party meeting on budget session of parliament, reiterates that he is just a phone call away for talks on the farmers issue. Along with the discussion on motion of thanks on the President's address, Budget Session of Parliament to take up legislative work relating to 33 bills, 5 financial items and 4 ordinances. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman to present the Union Budget on the 1st of February at 11am. Rajya Sabha TV to bring you the details in its special coverage all day long. The nation remembers Mahatma Gandhi on his 73rd death anniversary. The President, the Vice President and the Prime Minister pay tributes at Bapu Samadhi at Rajkhat. And over 37 lakh healthcare workers vaccinated so far. National recovery rate touches 96%. Active cases, just 1.58% of the total coronavirus cases. Our top story on news tonight. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired an all-party meeting to put forth the government's legislative agenda for the budget session of parliament. He told the floor leaders of various political parties that his government's offer on the agriculture reform laws made to the protesting farmers still stands. His remarks came days after violence broke out in parts of the national capital during the farmers' tractor rally on Republic Day. Here's a report. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday told leaders of various political parties that the government has been continuously trying to resolve the issues raised by protesting farmers through talks. Discussion के लिए, negotiation के लिए, 22nd, 23rd को हमारा agricultural minister श्री नरेंद्र सिंह तोमर जी ने जो उन्होंने offer किया था, हम discussion के लिए तैयार है। अगर आप discussion further continue चाहते हैं तो I am available on one phone call. The statement that was communicated to them, that still stands good. He said the government is open to detailed discussion on issues raised by the leaders in the meeting and reaffirmed the importance of smooth functioning of parliament and comprehensive debates on the floor of the House. There was a lot of discussion in the bill in the Lok Sabha. ये तो डिमांड अपोजिशन पार्टी ने की है और सरकार इसके लिए सहमत है और फार्म बिल के बारे में वगैरह फार्मर्स का इशू के बारे में चर्चा होना चाहिए ये भी डिमांड उन्होंने रेज किया है उसके लिए भी हम सहमत है मान्य प्रधानमंत्री जी ने कहा कि हम सब मिलके हम जो कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हैं उसके लिए सब मिल प्रयास करना चाहिए उसके लिए जो कुछ भी चर्चा आप करना चाहते हैं उसके लिए सरकार तैयार है इसके लिए छोटे पार्टियों को समय ज़्यादा मिलना चाहिए ये डिमांड किया इसके लिए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने ये कहा इसके लिए माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी और सरकार सहमत है लेकिन आप बड़े पार्टी इंक्लूडिंग बीजेपी प्रधानमंत्री जी ने शब्द इस्तेमाल किया इंक्लूडिंग बीजेपी आप सब बड़े पार्टी को ये कहिए आप कृपया डिसरप्शन मत करिए 
डिसरप्शन से ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा नुकसान होता है छोटे पार्टियों को इसलिए छोटे पार्टी को समय ज़्यादा मिलना चाहिए इसके लिए बेसहमत है पार्लियामेंट्री अफेयर्स मिनिस्टर प्रहलाद जोशी इन्फॉर्म दैट द बजट सेशन विल टेक अप 38 एट आइटम्स इंक्लूडिंग थर्टी थ्री बिल्स एंड फाइव फाइनेंशियल आइटम्स ड्यूरिंग द सेशन ही ऑल्सो अश्योर दैट दो द सेशन विल मेनली बी डिवोटेड टू द फाइनेंशियल बिजनेस रिलेटिंग टू द यूनियन बजट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड डिस्कशन ऑन द मोशन ऑफ थैंक्स ऑन द प्रेजिडेंट्स एड्रेस एसेंशियल लेजिस्लेटिव एंड अदर बिजनेस विल ऑल्सो बी टेकन अप ड्यूरिंग द सेशन ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट राज्यसभा टीवी The Union Budget 2021 will be presented by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman on the 1st of February at 11 a.m. The Finance Minister has said that this year's budget will be like never before. Here's a report on why this year's budget will be a historic one. Is dasak ka bharpur upyog ho aur isliye is satra mein is pure dasak ko dhyan mein rakhte hue चर्चाएं हो सभी प्रकार के विचारों की प्रस्तुति हो और उत्तम मंथन से उत्तम अमृत प्राप्त हो ये देश की अपेक्षाएं हैं मुझे विश्वास है कि जिस आशा और अपेक्षा के साथ देश के कोटि कोटि जनों ने हम सबको संसद में भेजा है हम संसद के इस पवित्र स्थान का भरपूर उपयोग करते हुए लोकतंत्र की सभी मर्यादाओं का पालन करते हुए जन आकांक्षाओं की पूर्ति के लिए अपने योगदान में पीछे नहीं रहेंगे ये मुझे पूरा विश्वास है सभी संसद इस सत्र को और अधिक उत्तम बनाएंगे ये मेरा पूरा विश्वास है प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विजन ऑफ एन आत्मनिर्भर भारत फॉर कॉम्बैटिंग द पैंडमिक हैज बिन आर्टिकुलेटेड थ्रू अ सीरीज ऑफ पॉलिसी मेजर्स कपल्ड विद इनकम टैक्स रिफॉर्म्स आफ्टर द इकोनॉमिक डाउन टर्न ड्यू टू कोविड 19, फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर निर्मला सीतारमन हैज रेज मेनी होप्स बिफोर प्रेजेंटिंग द बजट ऑन द फर्स्ट ऑफ फेबर द फोकस हैज टू बी ऑन रिवाइविंग ग्रोथ बूस्टिंग कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट In an unprecedented initiative, the Union Budget 2021-22 will be delivered in a paperless format for the first time. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has already launched the Union Budget mobile app. The app has a user-friendly interface with embedded features of downloading, printing, search, zoom in and out, bi-directional scrolling, table of contents and external links. It is bilingual and will be available on both Android and iOS platforms. The app can also be downloaded from the Union Budget web portal. The budget documents will be available on the mobile app after the completion of the budget speech by the Finance Minister in Parliament on the 1st of February. Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Rajya Sabha Chairman M Venkaiah Naidu has called a meeting of leaders of all political parties in the upper house on Sunday. In the meeting, the Rajya Sabha Chairman will hold a discussion with the leaders regarding the smooth functioning of the budget session and also to build consensus the session began on friday with president ramnath kovind's address to the joint sitting of both houses of parliament lok sabha speaker om birla also held a meeting with the leaders of political parties in the lok sabha to ensure smooth functioning of the house the union budget 2021-22 will be presented in parliament on monday at 11 am And Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a meeting of NDA leaders on Saturday. Addressing the meeting, the Prime Minister said that after the pandemic, a new world order is about to take shape, and India has a big role to play in the emerging new world order. The Prime Minister added that this decade is a very important one, just like the decade after the Second World War. Unlike earlier, we are not going to be a mute spectator. we will rise to the occasion based on our traditions and ideals of vasudev kutumbakam the 30th of january this year marked the 73rd death anniversary of mahatma gandhi 
Mahatma Gandhi was shot dead on this very day in 1948 by Nathuram Godse. His death anniversary is observed as Martyrs Day or Shaheed Divas. President Ramnath Kovind, Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh and Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla paid floral tributes to Mahatma Gandhi at his Samadhi at the Raj Ghat in the National Capital. The Chief of Defence Staff, General Bipin Rawat, Army Chief General Manoj Mukun Narvane, Naval Chief Admiral Karambir Singh and Indian Air Force Chief Air Chief Marshal RKS Bhadoria were also present. Paying tribute to Mahatma Gandhi, President Kovin said, people should adhere to his ideals of peace, non-violence, simplicity, purity of means and humility. The President urged everyone to follow Mahatma Gandhi's path of truth, love and non-violence. Vice President M. Menkeya Naidu shared a quote of Mahatma Gandhi, Ahimsa is the highest duty. He also urged people to follow the path of non-violence. The Vice President reiterated that Mahatma Gandhi worked relentlessly for the upliftment of the vulnerable sections, the downtrodden and the socially backward. Gandhiji's glorious life and principles continue to inspire the entire world. And paying homage to Mahatma Gandhi, Prime Minister Modi said, his ideals continue to motivate millions. He also recalled all the great uh, men and women who have devoted themselves towards India's freedom and the well-being on the occasion of Martyrs Day. The Films Division also paid tribute to the father of the nation by screening a film, Gandhi Rediscovered. The 27-minute documentary in Hindi and English discusses the scope of Swadeshi. Vice President Naidu and Prime Minister Modi also attended a prayer meeting on Mahatma Gandhi's death anniversary. The interfaith prayer meeting to pay tribute to Bapu was held at the Gandhi Smriti, the site of his assassination, which now houses a museum dedicated to his life. Vice President M. Menkaya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid tribute to Mahatma Gandhi at the interfaith prayer meeting at the Gandhi Smriti in New Delhi. Prayers were led by religious gurus belonging to Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, Baha'i, Sikhism, Judaism, Christianity and Zoroastrianism. Culture Minister Prahlad Singh Patel, Health Minister Harsh Vardhan, former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, his wife Gursharan Kaur and Gopal Krishna Gandhi, the grandson of Mahatma Gandhi, were present at the prayer meet among others.
ईश्वर अल्लाह तेरे नाम सबको सन्मति दे भगवान ओ सीता राम सीता राम रघुपति राघव राजा राम रघुपति राघव राजा And with that, time for a short break here. More news and updates will continue on the other side. Do stay with us. Watch the big picture at 9:30 p.m. only on Rajya Sabha Television. Do you know which act? decriminalized attempted suicide by changing section 309 of the IPC your options are a the mental health care act 2017 b mental health act 1987 c persons with disability act 1995 and d national trust act 1999 see the correct answer tonight at 9:30 pm only on rajya sabha television Welcome back you're watching news tonight. President Ramnath Kovind on Saturday launched the countrywide pulse polio program for the year 2021 by administering polio drops to children at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. The president administered polio drops to children on the eve of the Polio National Immunization Day which is observed on Sunday. The day is also popularly known as Polio Ravivar. First Lady Savita Kovind, Health Minister Dr. Harshvardhan and minister of state for health ashwini kumar chobe were also present on the occasion the three day polio vaccination drive will continue till the 2nd of february around 17 crore children of less than 5 years of age will be given polio drops as part of the central government's drive to sustain polio free status of the country More than 37 lakh healthcare workers have been vaccinated for COVID-19 across the country till date. With over 2 lakh vaccinations conducted on Saturday across 5143 sessions. In all, 68830 vaccine sessions have been held across the country so far. Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan on Saturday reviewed the status of covid-19 vaccination drive with the health Secret uh, secretaries of states and union territories elaborating on the global landmarks crossed by india the health secretary underlined that india is the fastest country in the world to reach 3 million number in covid-19 vaccinations he also said that there was sufficient quantity of covid-19 vaccine available in the country advising states and union territories to increase the coverage of the inoculation drive he also emphasized on the importance of timely data reconciliation on the covid application the health secretary advised states and union territories to start vaccinating frontline workers from the first week of february he also asked health authorities to make necessary arrangements for ensuring smooth implementation of this phase remember india had launched its nationwide covid-19 vaccination drive on the 16th of january and this was done by none other than prime minister narendra modi and a look now at the covid-19 infections in the country india reported 13083 new infections in the past 24 hours taking the nationwide tally to over 1 crore 7 lakh the country's active cases declined to less than 1.7 lakh comprising now of only about 1.58% of the total positive cases 
137 deaths were also reported in the same period. The total death toll due to coronavirus has now reached 1,54,147. Also, with 14,808 recoveries reported in the last 24 hours, India's total recoveries have crossed 1 crore 4 lakh. The national recovery rate has also reached nearly 97%. Talking about tests, over 7,56,000 samples were tested on Friday itself. And with this, India has tested over 19.58 crore samples of COVID-19 so far. Among states, Kerala continues to report the highest daily cases at 6,268. It is followed by Maharashtra with 2,771 cases, while Tamil Nadu has 509 new cases of COVID-19. In view of the decline in the number of fresh COVID-19 cases, several states are going ahead with further reopening plans. The state of Odisha has allowed reopening of Anganwadi centers and gatherings of up to 500 people with strict adherence to the COVID-19 protocols starting Saturday. In the hill state of Uttarakhand, all activities outside containment zones have been permitted with some conditions starting the 1st of February. The state is also lifting restrictions on interstate and intrastate movement of people and goods starting Monday. While schools for classes 6 to 12 will reopen from the 8th of February. In Jammu, schools will reopen for classes 9 to 12 from the 1st of February. Classes from 6 to 8 will also reopen from the 1st of February in Haryana. In the national capital, schools for classes 9 and 11, colleges, diploma institutions, including polytechnics and ITIs, will also reopen from the 5th of February. Meanwhile, Bihar is also allowing reopening of schools from class 6 to 8 from the 8th of February. Remember, schools were closed down in March last year ahead of a nationwide lockdown in order to contain the spread of the novel coronavirus. A team of forensic experts on Saturday visited the Red Fort to collect evidence in connection with the violence that broke out at the iconic monument on Republic Day. The crime branch of Delhi Police is investigating the matter and several teams have been formed to identify the culprits. The Delhi Police has so far arrested 84 people and has registered 38 FIRs with regard to the tractor rally and the subsequent violence that happened on Republic Day. The Ministry of Home Affairs has temporarily suspended internet services at the Singhu, Ghazipur and Tikri borders. And a team of Delhi police's special cell on Saturday morning visited the spot near the Israeli embassy where an improvised explosive device uh, took place uh, yesterday. The special cell is investigating the blast that happened on Friday evening in the heart of the national capital and is collecting evidence as part of their investigation. The team has so far managed to get access to footage from some of the CCTV cameras in the area. An envelope addressed to the Israeli embassy and containing a note was found at the site of the IED blast. The day after the blast outside the embassy, Israel's ambassador to India, Ron Malka, said, there are enough reasons to believe that it was a terrorist attack, but he said they are not surprised at the event as the alert level had been increased for the past few weeks following intelligence inputs. He also said Israeli authorities as well as the embassy are providing all possible assistance and every information that the Indian authorities need to probe the attack. Well, the investigation is uh, ongoing, still gathering all the pieces and the evidence uh, that we get uh, from the scene and pieces of information from all over. There is a full collaboration between uh, the Indian authorities and Israeli authorities. And um, as of now, our assumption, strong assumption, it, uh, that it is a terror attack that targeted the Israeli embassy. Fortunately, as you mentioned, uh, nobody was hurt and uh, all the uh, diplomats and their families are safe. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi will share his thoughts on several themes and issues in his radio program, Man Ki Baat, on Sunday. It will be the 73rd episode of his monthly radio program. It will be broadcast on the AIR News website, www.newsonair.com, and also news on 
AIR mobile app. The program will also be streamed live on the YouTube channels of AIR, DD News, PMO, as well as the Information and Broadcasting Ministry. Besides, you can also listen to the program live on Rajya Sabha Television at 11 a.m. tomorrow. And that's it from us in this bulletin. But before we leave, Rajya Sabha TV once again appeals to all its viewers to continue to maintain COVID-appropriate behaviour, which will help you stay safe from the COVID-19 pandemic. Wear face masks, wash hands and face regularly, and also maintain physical distancing each time you step outside. Remember, even though the vaccination drive has begun, these simple precautions are all that it takes on our part to defeat the pandemic. Good night, and thank you very much for your time. Thank you.